So now we'll work on problem 54 from chapter 21. Here we're asked to name uh, four alkynes. So the first structure which we're given in part A is a four chain alkyne, a four carbon chain alkyne. So we have CH triple bond C, CH, CH3 with methyl group here. So first thing we do is we identify our longest carbon chain, which is this. And we have four carbons in this chain. So our prefix is but. And our suffix is ein, Y-N-E, butyne. And then we want to number our carbon. And based on the fact that our triple bond is on the end, we want to start from this side. One, two, three, and four. So then our uh, methyl group is at, is at position three. So we write three methyl. And then the position of the triple bond is one butyne. The whole name is 3-methyl-1-butyne. So now we can move on to part B, where we're given the following structure. CH3C triple bond C CH, another CH, CH2, CH3. We have two methyl uh, substituents here and here. And so we want to go ahead and identify the longest carbon chain, which is seven carbons with a double bond, a uh, triple bond. So that would be called heptine. Then we want to name the, uh, we want to number the, the carbon chain. So we see that our triple bond is on the left side, close to the left side, left N. And so we start from that side, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And we have two methyl groups at positions four and five. So we write our name as 4,5-dimethyl. And then the position of the double triple bond, 2-heptine. Total name 4,5-dimethyl-2-heptine. In part C, we're given this structure. CH, triple bond, C, another C, CH2, CH3. This carbon here has a methyl group and an ethyl group. So now we want to, once again, identify our longest carbon chain, which is five carbons with a triple bond. So we have pentine. We have two substituents, which will be numbered which will, the position will be given based on the position, the way we number our carbon chain. The triple bond is on the left end, so we start from that side, one, two, three, four, and five. So the position of our, both of our substituents is at three. So we put three, ethyl comes first, because it's first alphabetically. 
and then the methyl group is also at three. And then we draw, uh, write the position of the triple bond and the carbon chain. So the name of this structure is 3-ethyl-3-methyl-1-pentyl. Now for part D, we're given a carbon chain, or we're given the following structure, CH3, C, triple bond C, CH, C, CH3. We have different substituents. So for this carbon, we have ethyl group. And here, we have two methyl groups. Now, there's two ways to number the longest carbon chain here. Uh, let's start with the simpler one. So we can number the chain like this. This would be six, six carbons in a row, which would give the name of hexine. Now, this group over here is called tert butyl. This uh, substituent, when we have this tertiary uh, carbon with three methyl groups, it's called tert butyl. And so if we number our carbon chain based on this, we start from the left side because that's the closer to the triple bond. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six. So the name that we're given here would be four because that's the position of this substituent. Four tert butyl. And then we write the position of the triple bond to hexine. Now, in green, I'll write the second possibility to number this, or to do the longest carbon chain. So we start from here. Instead of going into the side chain, we go straight across. And once again, we still get hexine. So we always want to go with the longest carbon chain. So the reason that there's two possibilities here is because there are two six-chained, uh, six six-membered carbon chains. So here, uh, we still number the same from the same side. So we go one, two, three, four. We continue right, five and six. Then we just uh, number our substituents. So we have an ethyl group at position four, four ethyl. We have two methyl groups at position five, 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 dimethyl. And then we put the position of the triple bond and the carbon chain. So the total uh, name is four ethyl, five, five, dimethyl, two hexine. And so either of these uh, names are correct. Um, the first, I gave the first one first because it's a simpler name with only one substituent, uh, but either of them is except and correct.